Oh, hey, Dr. Scalpel. The team is ready to get started on our first case in the OR, number four. Excellent, excellent. Let's get the show on the road, Thumbs. Oh, hello, Dr. Scalpel. Are you ready to get started? I sure am, Nurse Babcock. I'll just get scrubbed while you get the patient off to sleep, and then- Dr. Scalpel, aren't you forgetting something? Today is the first day that we're using the safe surgery checklist. Oh, yes. Right. The checklist. Checklist, checklist, checklist. Yep. So, <clears throat> we're doing your hernia, aren't we, Bob? And it's the right side, right? Excellent. Okay, time to scrub. Actually, Dr. Scalpel, we need a bit more than that. It's all here on the checklist. Gosh, that looks like a lot of stuff on there. This is going to take forever. We have operations to do, you know? Actually, it's pretty quick once you get used to it. I usually don't even need the plastic sheet to remind me. Thumbs, have you done this checklist before? Yes, boss. All of the other surgeons are already using it. Really? Well, if everyone else is using it, I better keep up. If you like, I can run through it on this case until you get the hang of it. Would that be okay, Nurse Babcock? Well, this first part is surgeon-led, but I suppose it's okay if you just do this one until Dr. Scalpel gets the hang of it. Excellent, excellent. Take it away, Thumbs. Okay, let's go. We have the whole team here, right? We need everyone for this first step, including the patient. The patient is part of the checklist, too? I sure am. It's good to know you guys check all this stuff. Okay, let's get started. Bob, we're going to run through a few questions on our safe surgery checklist. Can you confirm your name for us? Um, it's Bob. Thanks, Bob. And what operation are we doing? Um, aren't you supposed to know that? Well, yes, we do. But we're just checking that everyone is on the same page. We wouldn't want you to have the wrong procedure, would we? No way. I'm having my hernia fixed. Super. And what side is it on? The right side. I drew a smiley face on it for you. Great. Right inguinal hernia confirmed. Now, do we have a signed consent form in the chart? Yep. It's signed and dated by Bob and Dr. Scalpel. Hey, I got that right. Outstanding. Now, Bob. Is there anything you're allergic to, or that you have a reaction to? Um, I have a penicillin allergy. Oh, I did not know that. Can we change the NSF to clindamycin? Good catch, Dr. Fentanyl. Let's give 600 of Clinda. Okay, Bob. You're batting a thousand so far. Here's your last question. When did you last eat or drink? Um, 10 o'clock last night. Great. Now, team, do we have the weight of the patient in the chart? Yep, let me see. It's 180 pounds. And do we have any special concerns? Malignant hyperthermia, latex allergy, isolation precautions, or anything else? Not that I'm aware of, Dr. Thumbs. Nice. Now, Dr. Fentanyl, are you okay with your equipment? Any safety issues? No, no, I already checked. It's all good to go. Outstanding. And do you have any concerns about the airway? No. It looks pretty good. I don't need any special gear. Right. Dr. Scalpel, you're up. At last. I thought we would never finish. Can we scrub now? Um, almost. We just have a couple more items for you on the checklist. Oh, okay. Do you need any special equipment for this case? Any prosthesis or a warming device or any special instruments we need to borrow? I don't think we need anything special. Just the usual hernia set. We have that, right, Nurse Pepcock? Yep, it's your usual set. Okay then, last question. Do we need any other information before we start? That includes lab work, pregnancy tests, blood for cross-match, and x-rays. I'm pretty sure I'm not pregnant. 
and we don't need any blood. I think we're good to go. Okay, team. Does anyone have any other concerns before we start? Nope. No, no. I don't. Um, nope. Not me. Bob, are you all set? Okay, Doc. Let's get it done. Okay, Bob. Here comes your anesthetic. Oh, Dr. Scalpo! Yes, nurse? Next time, you'll be leading the checklist yourself, right? Yes, nurse. Hey, Thumbs. Thanks for helping out in there. Hey, it's pretty easy. You just have to read it off the card. Plus, the team will help you out if you get stuck. Don't you think it's weird to be doing it with the patient awake and everything? At first I thought so, but I think most of them like it. It makes them feel safe. And it shows patients they can really trust us. I suppose it is a good idea to check everything is ready. Instead of getting a surprise in the middle of a surgery. I heard that the checklist is helping us prevent errors and making sure that big operations go more smoothly. Plus, it's good to know we're part of a team. We all have your back, Dr. Scalpel. Yeah, our team is really great. Maybe this checklist thing isn't so bad. Come on, you two. Stop chatting and get in here. We have operations to do. Coming, Nurse Babcock. Let's go, Thumbs. A surgeon's work is never done.